How's it going guys? Welcome back. Uh, just going to do a quick video here. Uh, hope the quality is alright for you because I have gone and broke my new phone. Gone and smashed the screen on it so I'm using my old phone at the moment till I get the new one sorted. Also I noticed that I had a few more subscribers coming to my channel. Welcome to the channel guys. Any questions out there you, you want to ask just leave a comment down below and I'll get back here as soon as possible. But hey uh, guys just going to do a quick little video here uh, just showing you what's been going on and what's uh, happening. Uh, the weather's not the best of it is starting to rain a little bit it's been a bit weird the weather lately uh, one minute nice and hot next minute it's raining and a little bit cold but we can't complain too much because it hasn't been too bad uh, but i will spin the camera around now and let you have a quick little look right and guys uh, so this rhubarb has done done really well uh, this is the best i've ever seen it uh, since we took the garden on and as you can see with that leaf there it's absolutely massive huge huge so we dad say we're going to start taking some of that because i don't want it to start falling over to this raised bed yeah uh, as you can see here all the sweet candle carrots are coming through now nicely so if you have been following us you know how i i done these I've just got a plant pot and i just put a plant pot there so we had made like the circle and then another one next to it and so on so on and then in the middle of that circle i put a little hole and i dropped a couple of seed in and then once they start coming through and they've got the true leaves on i take one away and leave the strongest one there and that tends to get your space and uh, i find it a lot easier than directly sowing all the seed in a, in a, in a straight line and like a drill and then going through them bit by bit and thin them out and then going back and thin them out that's all the thinning out done now it's done they can sit there and just grow away same as with the parsnips so these are called gladiator f1s and I've done exactly the same plant pot straight there and then in the middle of that plant pot once I moved it away I put a hole in the centre of it dropped a couple of seed in and then just took the weakest one away and that's it done that's their spaces all done here yeah, we've got some garlic and stuff in there my dad's got some potatoes out there as well flowers are looking all right starting to die back a little bit now uh, he's starting to get some brassicas out uh, he put some out a couple of weeks back. Uh, they went a little bit blue, uh, but he's not really bothered. He just he just gets them out and just see how they get on. Not really happy with the grounds, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, I just feel like the grounds need a really really good mucking. It's uh, it just feels dead flat. It's it's not fluffy and light. Uh, so 100% next year or the end of this year, sorry, I will be trying to get myself a hold of some good uh, manure. I start looking around. And we'll give all these, all these plots inside here a good mucking because it definitely needs it. I'll show you exactly the difference when we go down to the, to the second garden. <clears throat> we broad beans are looking really, really good. Uh, so I've got these canes here in four corners and I just put some string around it and then zigzagged it all in. And that's just acting like support for them. They're nice and green. Can't say no uh, signs of any black fly. They normally gather at the top. So once they get a little bit bigger, uh, I'll just probably just pinch out them tops and hopefully that prevents any black fly landing on top. But there we go, he's got some more brassicas out there, guys. Some more there. Uh, we're sowing some more carrots inside here. And they're starting to come through now. So as you can see there, I've done the same again with the pot and then just put a hole in the middle. So once he's starting to start getting the true leaves on, I take them all away and just leave the one. And actually get the spaces. That there is going to be for we French green beans the dwarf ones which are the ferrari we've got some onion sets inside of there you just need to go through that and just give it a little bit of a weeding so then guys i'll just quickly show you what's going on inside of the uh, greenhouse and uh, show you what because i set some more seed away because what i noticed with these uh, brassicas there eh, when they were inside of the potting shed uh, when we pulled them out the harden off uh, was like little loads of holes inside of the leaves so I turned them over and then they were just full of caterpillar. I got no idea how they got caterpillar on them already, uh, but they have some of them. So we had to get rid of some of them, which, well, the chickens ate them. Uh, but I uh, just like baffled my mind. I don't understand how the hell have they got eggs on already and they've been sat inside of a shed. Maybe it's because I've been leaving the doors open when it's been nice and warm and one's flew in. I, I just, I don't know. Do they, do they live in the soil, the sea, the, the little eggs or what? No idea. So, yeah, so 
dad's been through them picked the best ones there's plenty there uh, i have sewn some more and we'll go and have a look inside of the greenhouse okay right and guys i'll quickly show you inside of the uh, greenhouse so we've got some uh, sweet corn here so it's 20 sweet corn there some of them have been munched on a little bit by some snails or slugs so i'm trying to keep an eye on them uh, we've got some more peas here they're going to be going outside uh, but on a squash, still waiting for some butter on our squash to come through. I think there's one there starting to come through now. Uh, French green beans, just done a sauna of them, and uh, they're looking really good, so they're going to be going down to the other garden. Some more sweet corn sitting there. We've got some more of the green beans, and these are the these are called Blue Lake, so these are a bigger one, these are not a dwarf one. These are dwarf one Ferrari, these are Blue Lake and these are climbing one. So they're going to be going down to that garden and I need to make some sort of support. Got some spring onions sitting here, uh, just done some multi-sown spring onions, just how low the spring seeds inside of there. And then, and then that little plug there with loads of spring onions in there would just get directly sown into the ground. Chrysams, I'm taking cuttings from Chrysams. We've got some beetroots here, same again, just hide a couple of seed in there, uh, like the crust arrow seeds. Done some snowballs, uh, same again, just hide a couple of seeds of snowball in there and I just pull them out, uh, turnips, and I just pull them out once they grow and they're getting directly straight in the ground. Done some more of the Ferrari, these yeah, done some more of these. Uh, so I've done some more broccoli, I'm doing some Savoy cabbage, I've got some more cauliflowers, and also I've got some more cauliflowers here and all these other uh, exhibition ones, some big ones. Some onions here. These are the Elsa Craigs. They're going to be going outside of this plot. And also I have got some uh, DT Browns there as well. Cucumbers, as you can see, cucumbers. Uh, some of them have been et. et uh, but we've got two there. What a hole in there. But I have sown some more just there. Marigolds. Are looking good some more onions there which i need to go through and sort out this is a giant swede uh, got the seed from a uh, giant veg and also this is a giant uh, red cabbage so these need to be going out as well grapevines looking absolutely amazing they uh, just covered in grapes so i'm going to let this grow a little bit longer a little bit more and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through it and trimming it. Because uh, what happens is, is if I keep all these grapes next to each other like that, I'm not going to get any decent bunches. You know, so there's a decent one there. So I'll probably have to get rid of that one there. And so on, so on. You know, like look at that, because that's coming off there. So we're going to go through that, we're going to look into it. I've got a, got a bit of an idea what I'm going to do. So there's a decent one there. So I might just nip off that there. You know, things like that. So we're slowly work our way along and we'll get that sorted right and guys here so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop down to the second plot and i'll show you what's going on down there uh, i have planted some stuff inside a wee pony tunnel the tomatoes what i had inside of this greenhouse which has sat here since february uh turned out lovely plants uh got well used to the temperatures and the, the coal and stuff and uh, they're lovely and healthy nice and green nice and little nice and strong nice thick stems on them and they're being planted out now down on my pony tunnel so we're gonna go down there and i'll give you a quick little run through down there to see what's going on like i say guys this video is going to be uh just a quick quick little video just a little update to keep this up updated and posted of what i've been up to and uh hopefully what plans are in the next coming days here uh, because i want to start getting stuff planted out now because anyway, things are starting to hang around a little bit too long inside the pots and the last thing i want is to plant them out and then they start going to flower so I'll meet you down at the second plot. Right, and guys, uh, just down on the second plot. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday when I'd done the recording, uh, my phone died, unfortunately, so didn't bother coming down to the second plot. Uh, but I'm here today, so I'll spin the camera around now and let you have a little look at these tomatoes and stuff and just give you a little bit of an update. Uh, doesn't seem too bad out there now. It was raining yesterday. Uh, today seems okay, so I might get some of the onions out, the Elsa Craigs, which I've done from seed, and also some of my own leeks which i saved from my own a uh, bit of grass i'll go through that right now is when i spin this camera around right and guys so these are my own a uh, 
leaks what I saved so basically bought the plant about three years ago some big leaks and uh, let a couple of them go to flower once I went to flower I cut the the flower heads away and then I started producing the grass which is the clone of the leek uh, I took the head away the actual leek head once uh, loads of grass grew through and I steeped it in domestos 24 hours and then they started to come away the, the leeks and I just put them in some trays with some compost I don't know if they grow light for a little bit and then once I got a certain size put them into some single little pots and then we brought them down to the garden and let them sit in the garden and then I potted them up into these pine cups and they sat in these pine cups ever since so this is the first time doing it so I've got no idea if these are going to bolt or what so all this is a bit of an experiment uh, they're all looking a little bit pale because I have sat in these pots for a while this is why I want to get them uh, planted out uh, but some of them do look nice and little still so I'm pleased so yeah I need to get these out so that's a job I'm going to hopefully tackle today. The stuff that I brought up from the other garden, so we kale and my lettuce, uh, the broccoli, and also some cauliflowers. These are nice plants. These are, but the the they're dying to get out. So these are going to be going out hopefully on the weekend. Uh, I'm just going to get them out because I've got a lot more stuff sown. What you're seeing up there. So these just need a bit of a drink. Uh, I'm going to get these onions out. So these are the Elsa Craigs. So the nice plants. So we're going to get them out of the day. Uh, but yeah, these look alright. Just need to get them planted out. Like I say, I've got plenty more going at the other garden. These leeks, yeah, I'm going to go through some of these leeks and sort some of these out. Like I say, I'll give them a good spray because I had a lot of green fly on them. And I give them a good spray and it's killed all the green fly. And I use some Pavardo. I think that's what it's called anyway. Ultimate bug killer. So I use some of that and it's done the job straight away. So I will be going through them and I'll just drop them straight in the ground and just see what, what comes from them. Micro Sams. So these are looking uh, good. So some of them I nip the tops off, some of them I just left. Uh, I just keep on taking cuttings all the time because I want to build up the stock. And these are a variety called Allison Peace. Nice yellow one. Lovely, beautiful. Had a lot more, but nothing's come from them. So I'm going to look around and start get some new stock and stuff. Good to start. These are the tomato plants that I had at the other garden where I sat inside of the greenhouse uh, since February. And they're the lovely, lovely plants. And they uh, just sat through all the cold and stuff like that. And then I brought them down here. And they've got some nice stems on them. And I just got them just straight in the ground. I was going to put them in something like this. With a hole at the bottom. You'd bury that in into the ground. And you put your plant in the, in the middle of that. But I thought this year, I tried something different. And I just put them directly in. See how they get on. I have dotted some marigolds in between. So I've got some marigolds it. Yeah, I do need to watch out for slugs and that still and some snails and things. Yeah, I do need to get some pellets. A lot of maize tail in this garden. Absolute loads of it. I'm forever pulling it out. But it's going to be expected. These onions are a bit of a mixed bag, so these are the Kelsey onions. They, these are the onions that I had on any we grow lights down at home, which have been growing for a few months now. Uh, some of them look all right, some of them some of them don't. Some of them look like they're going to bolt. Some of them look a little bit yellow, where they seem a little bit they're going to go soft. So it's probably first time, you know. Uh, mm, not too bad, I suppose, but the problem what I had was too many. Grew far too many, 30 plants just took over and just no good whatsoever so when i do these again at the end of the year uh, i'll probably just stick the six of them so i can manage them easier because like i say i just some of them just look a bit funny uh, these are the only ones what i had left because the rest of them were a bit of a disaster too much water everything so it's all learning though if you don't do it you're never going to learn so it's a learning curve be happy if i get one decent onion you know I'll be happy, but there we go. So we'll keep an eye on them, bit of a mixed bag. 
some Peter Gray's books here. Nothing fancy is going to be coming to these. Uh, these just, I sowed the seed. That's in there. I sowed the seed and just let them be inside of the greenhouse. And there we go. That's what I got. So I'll probably just put them in the ground to see what happens with them. So yeah, so that's an update inside of the pony tunnel. So we'll go outside now. So I'm just starting to sort this ground out now because this is where I'm going to put some air, uh, lamb leeks and some onions. And if you can see the difference of the soil, that was all spongy and all I had to, had to do the shuffle on it and then rake it out again. Yeah, but this is all the mare's tail or horse tail where I'm being where I'll just pulled out of it. And you can see there little bits like that just root. You know what I mean? Absolute nightmare. So it's gonna go all over the place, but I need to try and keep on top of it. Broad beans are looking all right, gone a little bit, yellow a little bit from the cold, but the the they're starting to pick up now and recover. Peas are doing okay, so they're gonna be due uh third string soon. So I'll be getting a third string put across them soon. We've got some of the sweet candles now coming through, so there we go guys. So we'll never directly sown any carrots straight into the ground before. Uh, but we'll see, because like I say, the ground's nice. Uh, as you can see there, all my onion sets are looking all right. So these are the variety called table. So some more peas there just need to be tied up again. And then some more broad beans over there. Uh, they're, just, they're starting to pick up. I'm trying to work out a bit of netting system here. So I can cover with brass gas. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing is what I've been recommended by Wayne uh, good good little tip good idea is make a, a little line so get a little washing line along there and then get your netting over the top of it and then just hook it down like a little tent sort of style and that should keep the pigeons off so I'm just trying to work out how many I need and how it's going to work so I'm just thinking different ideas different ideas potatoes are out looking good so we've got the Charlottes, three of them. We've got the Desirees, two rows. And then I'm on the two of the Maris Pipers now. So I'm gonna go along as far as I can. And this should be all full of potatoes. Butternut squash, what I'm waiting for, which I'm struggling to get germinating, is gonna be going along here. And hopefully it helps with this sort of stuff, doubt it though, but we'll see, I'm slowly starting to go along, hopefully in a couple of years time, uh, hopefully made a little impact on it. So I hopefully in a couple of years time, I make a little bit of an impact on it, I keep on trying to get it out, uh, but there we go, but like I say that soil out there is absolutely amazing, uh, when I turn it over all the time you've got all the little bugs in it and the worms and stuff, so it's good material, really good material. Uh, Totally different to the other stuff what we've got down in that garden, so definitely look into some decent uh, muck or something like that just to get that ground back up there how it should be. Uh, but there we go, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to try and lay some of these uh, leaks out and just see where they're going to be sitting and stuff like that. And I'll just I start dropping them in the ground and uh, I'll give it a quick little look uh, once it's done. So spare us two minutes, I'll get them in the ground, I'll give you a little look. So then guys, uh, that, the onions, I uh, just need to just obviously put them in properly, but that's the layout there. So I've got 38 of the Arthur Craig onions. That's just the board there, so that's space where I can get in between. Uh, I'm going to spin it over. I'm going to, well, I'm going to get the leeks in. And then uh, I'll have a look at the pot leeks and get some of the pot leeks in as well. So I'm going to get these in properly now. Right, guys, uh, so there you have it. Uh, so there's some Elsa Craig onions and there's um, leeks, my own saved leeks. See how these get on. Uh, the string is for when any wood pigeons or out like that flies down, they can't walk into it because it just bounce off that. And hopefully these cups here, when they rattle around, will scare them a little bit and just some daft stuff like that. Because like I say, I don't know what's, what's gonna happen here. I don't know what's gonna get attacked or what. So, we're battling everything at the moment, uh, all the weeds, 
bugs and then also pests like the birds and that because loads of wood pigeons so yeah I'm, I'm happy with these spot on so I'm going to go and call it a day and then hopefully on the weekend uh, we can get some pot leaks out and I'll probably put a move that string out the way and then just put a couple of rows of pot leaks along here and then that should be enough for me and then sweet corn is going to be going over here and then uh, some brassicas planted around on the other spaces and then over here will be the butternut squash hopefully if I get any germination uh, but there we go happy days so then guys, uh, I've got three of them leaks left. Uh, them three are going to be going inside of this pony tunnel, just so I've got some inside of here, just to see, compare them, you know. Uh, like I say, they could bolt or anything yet, I do not know. Uh, but they're looking all right, uh, they do look promising, uh, but we shall find out, we'll just keep an eye on them. So yes, I want to put a three of them inside of this pony tunnel, and uh, just see how they get on. But there we go guys, this video was meant to be short and sweet, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, like I say, we battery died, so... We added an extra day on knee harm and that uh hopefully i'll catch you on the weekend and uh, we can get some of these leaks put out the pot leaks and also we'll, we'll start going through and getting some brassica sorted because like i say the cauliflowers need to be going out because uh, they're looking really good uh, i am sowing a lot more stuff like i say more brassicas and stuff because i want to try and stagger them throughout the throughout the season and just see how they get on you know and uh, this is a rough idea when the best time to sow them for to get the better uh, produce out with them basically uh, but there we go guys uh, cheers for watching cheers for all your likes uh, your comments as well uh, all all the subscribers thank you very much i uh, really really appreciate it uh, if you're considering subscribing just come along guys uh, just hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell you'll be notified every time i upload a video it's all free uh, just come along see how we get on just follow our journey because uh, i'm enjoying it and hopefully we should have a nice season this this year and uh, i'm really looking forward to see how stuff develop in this garden. But there we go guys, cheers for now, and I'll catch us in a bit.